Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we want to explain how your library card can help you get more out of your iPhone. Yeah, I'm really excited about this video because it is amazing how much content you can get for free with a public library card. So yesterday I went to the Clifton Park Half Moon Public Library and got a card. I had an account, but I lost the card. There's an amazing amount of apps that your library has for free. And we're talking about free music, free movies, free magazines, free comics, stuff for free kids. kids books, yeah. amazing stuff. So let's dive in and we're just gonna sort of go in order. Your local library may have some different apps they use, but these are pretty standard across all the local libraries. So yeah, let's so dive in. I got my iPhone here. We downloaded four apps Yep, for this video. Mm -hmm. First one is Cloud Library. All right, let's open it up. Open it up. Let's send you a notification, sure. What's interesting about this is that when you take out an item, you borrow it just like you do from a library for seven days or three days or whatever, then it gets returned. So personalized library cards, easily access your library card and switch between accounts, cool. Yeah, so for the pin or password, try the last four digits of your phone number, mm -hmm. uh, because obviously I hadn't set up, this is the first time I opened this app and that yep. didn't set up a pin or a password. Right, that threw me for a loop too. The other apps that we're gonna talk about are not gonna get require you to enter a pin or password. All right, so now we are in Cloud Library. What are we gonna do here? Let's uh, take a look at some books that they have. Okay. Let's tap search. Search. Oh, it's got all, yeah, here we go. Fun reads for kids, on approaches, summer reading. Any, anyone jumping out to you here? About 1774. Here we go. All right, so we can just tap borrow. By Mary Beth Norton. But yeah, here you can see all the pages. Yep, you tap on the screen, I'm sure, and change the font size. Let's take a look at how much that would cost on Apple Books. $14.99 on Apple Books. Free from this app. I'm super stoked on these library apps. Next up is Libby by Overdrive. Access 10,000 ebooks and audiobooks. This is cool stuff. Yep. Open up the Libby app here. Books on social issues, yeah. Look at all this, all this good stuff. Explore. So a lot of these you see place hold, and that means that they're already checked out from this library, and then you put yourself on a waiting list and then it lets you know as soon as you can take it out. Here, I'm gonna search for one. Let's search for a Stephen King book. Borrow, here we go. Elevation by Stephen King. Yeah, it looks like this is an audiobook. You can see the little AirPods. Let's tap on that. Tap the plus button to borrow it, play a sample. Let's do it, let's borrow it. Borrow. This is awesome. You would have to pay for this book on Amazon. Yep. And audiobooks are not super cheap these days. I mean, you no. know, you're paying about the same price as you would for the book. Right. You can just do it for free on your phone with a library card. Yeah. You smack me in the face with your phone while you're at it. Yeah. My library card, you can't use it. All right, here we yeah. go. It's, it's going, it's downloading. <laughs> so if we compare this price to Amazon's price, now it says free with your Audible trial, but if you've ever tried Audible, it's not free. It costs $13.99. And David just downloaded it for free. Come on. All right, so now- Library card. I'll see what I can do. How do I How do I listen to it now? At the bottom, tap shelf. Shelf. And now you can see your loans, your holds. Tag, there it is. Perfect. There we go. How Easy. cool is that? 14 bucks. $14 Bang. audiobook for free. You can get- Yeah, you can check out 10 things at a time. 10 at a time. Check out $140 of audiobooks. So that's Libby by Overdrive. Next, let's talk about Hoopla Digital. It's a little bit different. So I'm gonna right. go back to my home screen. Tap on Hoopla. What's all the Hoopla about? I'd like to find and connect you to, okay. Let's sure. do that, yep. It's gonna be able to stream from your iPhone to your Apple TV. Yep. Whoa. Don't have an account, I'm going to sign up. All right, Hoopla is brought to you by the Clifton Park Half Moon Public Library. Thanks guys. And now what's cool about Hoopla Digital is they have comics, music, movies, and TV. Let's take a look at video first. Phantom of the Opera, that's good. Oh, okay, let's do that. David's right. a big Phantom fan. I think this is on Netflix too. That's that's great, it's on Netflix too. But it's also available for free in your public library. Yeah, you don't have to pay yeah. for a Netflix subscription. That's right. Let's tap borrow. All right, so now if play. I tap play. I'm surprised if it actually plays. Wow, oh, wow look at because that. the screen recording is going. Yeah. Usually it won't let you do that. So there you go, you watch this movie on your phone. Yep, you can also download it to your phone. So if you're going on vacation and you're not gonna have Wi-Fi for a while, yep. or you're going anywhere and you don't have Wi-Fi for a while, 
Yeah, this some of the streaming app. services have started offering offline downloads, but not their, for their full catalog. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's rare to find it where you can find you know all movies. Like David was saying, a lot of the times with Netflix, you can download the Netflix stuff, but not other stuff. Yeah, Netflix, this, Netflix movies aren't that great. A lot of good stuff on here. Anyway, final app we're going to talk about is Tumble Books. This is really good for kids. Yeah, we've got. 500 ebooks that are interactive for kids, I believe. Mm -hmm. I haven't used this app before. Let's give it a whirl. Open up Tumble Books. So here are a whole bunch of titles to choose from. Can't really zoom in on the screen, that's okay. I didn't know Caillou is still around. Introducing Caillou. Caillou. How about that? There you go, there's your you book. To... And if you have kids, check out my mom's new YouTube channel. You'll like it, really. It's good. Link in the description. So that is how you can get more out of your iPhone just by using your library card. Support your local library. It's free to get a library card. Takes, what, five minutes to get one? Yeah, it's super easy to get one. And look how much money you can save. Endless hours of content. Really? Yeah. So thanks, library. Thank you, library. Yep, just make sure you wear a mask before you go in. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones.